welcome to Special Education. Today on the show, I got Alex Wiley. I'm totally going to draw a dick on this whiteboard. Now we're drawing dicks. Make sure you guys play along in the comments. Let us know what you think you, the answers are. <laughs> First one, you have a lot of fun in your music. That's so, factual. So the most fun songs right. All right. I of course put I Be Fucking Nuns. That's a fire pick. <laughs> Shout out to Swag Village. Shout out to that. What'd I said put? his littlest nonchalant because, because there's like a two minute auto tune solo at the end. Mm -hmm. And that was my first time ever doing anything like that. And it was definitely some of the most fun I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> That's dope. I felt like Team Pain mixed with Kanye West mixed with like some sort of like fire breathing angel dragon wow. of sorts. Fire breathing angel dragon. Yeah. That's beautiful. That's the best dick you could draw. That's the best He's dick like you could draw. I'm dude. Like that looks like a, I do it for the love of the game. Like, it's not like about a, it's not about chicken. It's not about you guys' opinion. Like oh. it's about like the the freedom, Got the motherfucking it. the joy, the energy. Favorite song to perform live. I put Thug Angel. Thug Angel, wow. See, if it was like 2013, I would have been correct. Okay. I just feel like everybody chants like Club Wiley, Club yeah, Wiley. Like, I don't even do that song anymore. Uh -huh. actually. I don't really like my verse on it as much. I feel like I got a lot better at rapping since I wrote that. That's dope, though. Improvement. Japanese. Why'd you put Japanese? That's my favorite song to do live currently. I just like the whole pocket of it. I like the way it smacks live. Mm -hmm. I like all the things that I say, get to say. In a room full of motherfuckers. <laughs> this is my new new one. Oh, okay. That one... It looks like a, a lot like a rocket ship. Yeah, it looks like a rocket ship. So is my dick, dude. <laughs> now we're going to get into <laughs> the signature <laughs> abstract questions. All right, for shizzle. What would you perform at a strip club? I put a right, right? Okay. That's not a bad suggestion. Yeah. I like that. Good. I like that beat. Well, and the your, tempo's okay. You're telling her she looks good. You're telling her to make that money. I mean... Wow, that's a good idea. You that's know? smart. You know? I think I'm, I went Navigator Truck just because it's a little slower. Mm -hmm. And and I would definitely want the strippers to think that I own a Navigator Truck. Okay, there you go. I feel like the likelihood of me making something actually happen goes way up if they think I have a Navigator. Definitely. Ladies, Navigator Truck right here. You got it. And yeah. he wants to see you strip slowly. So that's an interesting point that we learned today. Yeah, yeah. Also, yeah, it's like, check it out. If you like... <laughs> Just immediately strip, then like, what are it's we over. even doing? Then it's kind of over. Okay, work your way into it. You feel me? Mm -hmm. You damn near should halfway strip, then start randomly putting shit back on. <laughs> then, <laughs> <laughs> and then, but then be like, nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just I was just kidding. <laughs> the title of this is Dick Drawings and Stripper Etiquette with Alex Wiley. Getting a little more abstract. But on the other side of the abstract, what would you perform for some third graders? Oh my god. See, when we bring up the third graders, everybody wants to do a cover song. You... Yeah, sorry. Whip. I put whip. That's cool. Watch That's cool because it sounds it sounds like kid friendly. Mm -hmm. I went cover of the thong song. Can't <laughs> go wrong. I would cover it, uh -huh. and uh, it would be mad folky. Like, it would be just like um, Very eclectic. acoustic guitar. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be lit. It'd be lit as fuck. I think, um, like, when you're going to be performing in front of kids, you'd have to, like, take into account that, like, they're impressionable, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, like, like uh, you have a responsibility to do something positive. So the impression is thong, 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 thong. Yeah, exactly. Uh, dumps like a truck, 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 a navigator truck. There you go. Yeah, see? Yeah, dumps like, dumps a, navi like a navigator truck. Boom. All, it's all coming full circle. It's all night beautiful. long. Mm -hmm. Boom. It's going down. The final question. Artists that influenced you the most. Put Kanye. That's that's not not far off. That was the first album I ever owned nice. for real. Nice. I went MC Hammer. Wow. <laughs> welcome to Oak well, we're not in Oakland, but it's like right across the water. Yeah. So welcome. I didn't know you're such a big the MC Hammer. The pants. Habit. The haircut. The, the dancing. The dancing. The Being dan too legit to quit. <laughs> Motherfuckers not being able to touch you. But he bought a helicopter. Like, who exactly. buys a helicopter? MC Hammer does that. You know what I'm saying? The fact that I say it's whistle time all the time, and he was Hammer, and it was Hammer time all the time. 
can't go wrong. You know what I'm saying? So the similarities are there. The similarities are there, Incredible. and it's um, it's a lot more like you know, under the surface, I guess. It's like not not so obvious. You yeah. gotta really like. But that's like some of the dopest tributes are not super like just complete replicas or like you know what I mean like you're like oh I kind of see some letters there but fucking yeah MC Hammer holler MC at Hammer. me if you're seeing this um, please you can hit me on Twitter you can fucking hit me on Snapchat or something like that let's make some some jams bro. that that was gonna be the question would you just want to hang out with him or you'd af- you'd actually right. like to make music? either or I'm yeah. da- like if he's just on some like yo like let's just hang out and see where this goes mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying <laughs> sorry that sounded like then yes. then. Of course, MC Hammer. Just drop some game on me. But if he's like, yo, let's get in the studio. I need to get you on. You know what I'm saying? The motherfucking Too Legit to Quit. Part two. 20-year anniversary yeah. remix. God damn it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, I'm, I'm ready for whatever. Man. Hammer. That's beautiful. I'm Alex Wiley. This is a, a birthday bouquet of dicks for you. <laughs>